If you are starting a green building project in the Midwest, expect to encounter both challenges and opportunities. The Midwest's notoriously harsh climate makes conditioning a building a bit of a challenge, but also creates unique design opportunities. In this video, we're going to cover what those challenges and opportunities are. My name is Brandon Fettis, and I'm an architectural designer here at Newman Munson. Our firm has been pursuing and practicing Midwestern sustainable design over the years, and we decided to share what we have learned with you. In this video, we'll dive deeper into the challenges and opportunities you may face when you go green in America's heartland, helping you better understand the design decisions your architect may present. By the end of this video, you'll have a better idea of what these challenges are, as well as the opportunities this region presents. First, we're going to cover some of the challenges the Midwest faces in approaching sustainable design. The Midwest is part of a seasonal climate, and often winters are frigid and icy and summers are hot and humid. These contrasting temperatures create a unique design challenge. The daily and seasonal temperature changes in the Midwest means many buildings rely on mechanical systems for climate control. Mechanical systems provide consistent and reliable interior temperatures, but require a lot of forward thinking and understanding of your prospective users. One of the most effective passive measures for dealing with a variable climate is keeping an airtight building envelope. One of the more difficult challenges in a Midwestern climate is dealing with moisture. Throughout the year, interior and exterior temperatures may fluctuate drastically, allowing condensation to rest in the walls of your building, which often happens at the change of a season. Controlling moisture is one of the critical factors your architect will consider in making design decisions. Some of the valuable methods for managing moisture might be the proper application of weather barriers, using a rain screen, or simply having a well-tuned mechanical system. The Midwest also presents some programming challenges. A program is a spatial guideline for your building identifying size and location of spaces. Features like enclosed parking and basements are a common element in Midwestern buildings and contribute a lot to the character of the architecture in our area. Since Midwestern buildings often rely on mechanical systems, you may need additional space to house various equipment. Due to the temperature extremes, specifically in the winter, keeping common areas open to sun energy can go a long way in comfort and costs. Although the Midwest challenges some more commonplace sustainable design strategies, this region also offers many opportunities. Several Midwestern cities have made sustainability their top priority. For example, Iowa City, the home of one of our studios, has reduced carbon emissions by 45% over the last decade. Regionally manufactured products, access to renewable energy, and pragmatic forward-thinking principles position the Midwest well for green design. Local and regional products are a necessary aspect for sustainable design. Local production helps minimize carbon emissions, supports local communities, and allows for greater collaboration with product manufacturers. Thankfully, many building materials and products are manufactured within the Midwest. Strategies like sustainable sourcing and embodied carbon reduction can be easier to implement within the Midwest. Renewable energy has been gaining fast momentum in the Midwest. Energy producers such as Mid-American Energy have been working toward a net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. This is made possible in Iowa by our advantageous landscape, allowing for infrastructure like solar and wind farms. They estimate that 88% of the energy consumed by Iowa customers in 2021 came from renewable sources. The availability of green energy makes reliance on mechanical systems more amicable in performance and cost. Until now, this reliance has been one of the critical hurdles of our climate location. Biophilia is designing through humanity's innate connection to nature, which we try to preserve through biophilic practices. The Midwest offers a fruitful canvas of biophilia as the country's heartland. Our historically agrarian culture and geography make connections to nature easy and accessible. Implementation of rating systems such as the Living Building Challenge or Well Building provide a helpful guide in achieving more biophilic lifestyle through the buildings we inhabit. If you are undertaking a building project in the Midwest, be aware of the challenges and encourage creative opportunities. Despite any hurdles, the Midwest is well positioned to adapt to the changing climate. The key to success is awareness of our limitations, such as climate and geography, and staying informed on good regional building practices. To learn how you can integrate sustainable design strategies into your next building project, read our article on the most popular building certification systems. Thanks for watching.